guys how's going on my name is Lewis and god bless every single one of you today is june 27 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert you know those new ones that's coming from the southern region well we have breaking news here one of the individual takes out two inside Texas Chick-fil-A. We have more breaking news updates. Look at this one here. Another one cuffed for allegedly a young one. A young one. Please follow me with the words. I'm not going to say certain things here. The platform is very strict. All right, we just post a video last night. I post a video late, well, actually early this morning. Uh, I post a video that uh, there was uh, one of those uh, rental trucks and the back door was kind of open and it showed like someone's uh, arm. And the person behind it, the driver, he called 911 and said, hey, there's something going on here. They stopped the truck, opened the back door, there were young ones in there. So we are seeing uh, some stuff happening inside our sleeping giant land. Now, guys, let me tell you something, right? Those that are coming from the southern region, all right, in their mind, it's okay to go and be with those type of ages. Because in their land... It's a different law compared to our land laws. So they don't know anything about the sleeping giant law. The land of the law and all that. They don't know anything about it. So their mind, they think they're still in their region. When they come here, they see all these young ones. They think, hey, you know. But uh, those that is allowing, again, the four or six, that is leaving the doors open, allowing it to come in. The four six should be responsible. It should be responsible. We are seeing a trending of uh, some lawlessness happening. Where is the four six? All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is excuse me and a patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us a letter or prayer request you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 Guys, we have more breaking news, and this one here, this is good news. OKC requires Bibles in every classroom. Yep. So we are seeing it right now. We are seeing that um, you have some states are pushing for the Ten Commandments, and July will be the month. Again, they're trying to push it, a bill for uh, July, a month of fasting and prayer. And they want to uh, also uh, put Bibles in every classroom. Again, what do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Now, again, you have hotels, Bibles, and uh, every every hotel room has a Bible. But, uh, again, you guys already know the library. Library, they remove the Bibles. And also, classroom, remove the Bible. And so, you have some states that is trying to bring them back. But, at the same time, there is some lawsuit going on. You have others are saying we don't want this. And this is the reason why the sleeping giant is not in the right path. We're going to talk more about this here, guys. But let me take you to this story. Let me just read this one really quick here, all right? Uh, if you can, please share this video. All right, so you have this person here, all right? 37 was cuffed in connection to a... G.U.N. event at an Irving Chick-fil-A. Now, the blue say this person, man, S-H-O-T-2 on Wednesday afternoon near MacArthur Boulevard and Walnut, Walnut Hill Lane. 
Once again, the person names has not been released, but they were believed to be impacted. This person faces capital, well, he's going to be uh, those charges, and has a immigration hold. Here's the thing, guys. When it comes to stuff like this, for some reason, they let him go. I don't know. For some reason, those that come, uh, those that come from the southern region, when they do these type of stuff, they let them go. They let them go. They do. No lie. It's mostly L E F T state. They let them go. But they go after the four or five because the stormy thing, really. But when someone go at, oh again, when one of these individuals that come from the southern region, when they be with a young one, they let them go. They put them back in the street. But if it was a sleeping giant citizens, oh, you be in. Woohoo! You've been thrown in uh, behind BARS for many years. This is the one right here, guys. This is, uh. Once again, so. You have this person, another one, in upstate Rotten Apple, uh, has been cuffed in an RAPE of a young one. Once again, the alleged event happened last month on May 14 and the suspect is accused of uh, threatening the Vic with a metal BAR now I'm not gonna get into full detail the reason why this platform is very strict for some reason they don't like it when anybody talks about this thing it just it should be talked about so I will talk more about this over our Patreon, uh, Patreon Sunday live stream, a dollar a month, Patreon, a dollar a month. And um, again, guys, continue to pray for the sleeping giant. That's where we are right now. And um, you could thank the four six, and plus the doors are still open. It's still open. There's videos of a uh, red dragon citizens coming through California. Cali's in the house. Let's see what's going on here with the Bibles now. All right, let's scroll down really quick here. OKC State Board on Education Thursday meeting is underway with several significant items on the agenda. Once again, the state superintendent uh, began by outlining some of the topics for the June 27th meeting, including the recent state uh, court ruling against a state-funded and established uh, religious charter of school at Isidore or Isidore. I totally apologize about the name. Now, the ruling stated that under Oklahoma law, a charter school is a public school, meaning it must be non-sectarian. -se uh, As such, the state's establishment of religious charter school violates Oklahoma statutes. Uh, the Oklahoma Constitution and the Establishment's Clause. Now, Walter called, he called it one of the worst decisions and that the OKC court has made a promise to take the case to a high court if possible. Now, earlier in the week, once again, the Supreme has made some horrendous decisions. This is one of the worst. What the court did was ruled against the parents of OKC who have demanded more choices for their young ones. We have a great opportunity to make sure that the parents have the most options of any parents in the land here in OKC. But giving them the ability to go to uh, public school, charter schools, private schools, this would have been the most unique charter school in the country so i want you all to know that we will continue to fight back against this we want to continue to provide an opportunity for the parents to send their young ones to high quality schools all right so once again this is a very important update coming out from oklahoma uh about the decision bringing bibles back to school now we homeschool uh, again we homeschool my wife does the homeschooling i do the work she does an incredible job she put uh, she put a lot of time work and effort uh teaching our young ones when it comes to the real history also uh, when it comes to uh against scriptures 
and also the Constitution. So, but again, nowadays, you know, sending your young ones to, you know what, it just, it's not the same. It's not. It's not the same. So we are seeing many, many are just homeschooling. It says here, to be clear, it is this. Excuse me, to be clear, it's this. An argument that is based on myth, on a lie. You're not going to find the separation of church and state in the Constitution. The church and state, people uh, keep getting that confused. It means that, uh, you know, what I was told, and is also in the Constitution, that a gov cannot get involved. They can't. Now, even a state could get involved when it comes to uh, church decisions. And also free tax uh, for the church and so many other things. But uh, it's very important to to study these things. It's very important. Again, there's books a million, there's libraries. You could go and do your research when it comes to church and state. You have to do your research. You cannot just rely on someone on TikTok. Well, Lewis, my friend on TikTok said this. Come on, come on. Grab a book. It's, the library is around the corner. So it says, it says here, you're not going to see the founders describe religion in this way. But what you are seeing is a court that lacks an understanding of the Constitution. And we are prepared to challenge this all the way to the sleeping giant Supreme Sea. Make sure that the religious liberty is protected in the state of OKC. And that parents have all options available. Related to the Supreme Seat decision, Walter announced on Thursday that every teacher and classroom will be required to have a Bible and that he will be issuing a memo to every school district in OKC about the decision. Walter cited a state statute uh, regarding historical documents, claiming that the Bible is a document that has significant to historical events as well as the foundation of the sleeping giant. Yes. Yes, that's how it started with the sleeping giant. Well, you think the sleeping giant started under the abomination? If that's the case, the sleeping giant would not be here by now. Because the abomination culture does not last more than three generations. I mean, ask Sodom and Gomorrah. Or other lands that walk away from God and start celebrating the abomination. Ask them if their land is still alive. Because anything that it's the opposite of God, if you celebrate something that is the opposite of God, it was not meant for eternal, again, it was not meant to last forever. All right. I mean, scripture tells us, uh, you know, these events, uh, these lands, they do go because uh, their culture was not meant to last forever. True peace and love is eternity. All right. So again, uh, if this sleeping giant was under nowadays those that believe and this and that, if it was under uh, our time frame right now, I, again the culture sleeping giants at right now, if it was back in the 1700s, sleeping giant would not be here. Sleeping giant would not be here. So it says here, the last is we are going to make an important announcement today regarding the Bible and the Ten Commandments. My staff has been looking at OKC statute. We've been looking at uh, OKC academic standards and it's crystal clear to us that in the Oklahoma academic standards under Title 70 on multiple occasions, the Bible is necessary historical documents to teach our young ones about the his history of this land to have a complete understanding of Western civilization, understand the basis of a system. And frankly, talking about the Bible, one of the most uh, foundational documents used for the Constitution and the birth of our sleeping giant. We also find major points in history that refer to the Bible reference the Bible. We see multiple figures, whether we are talking about the Federalist Papers, Constitutional Conventional Argument, and Martin Luther King Jr., who used it as a tremendous 
and that is for the civil rights movement and tie many of those arguments back to the Bible. It is essential that our young ones have the understanding of the Bible. It is historical context. So we will be issuing a memo today that every facility district will adhere to, which is that every teacher, every classroom in the state will have a Bible in the classroom and will be teaching from the uh, scriptures in the classroom to ensure that this historical understanding is there for every young ones in the state of OKC in accordance with our academic standards and class and state law. Sounds beautiful. The Bible has to be a King, King James Version. All right. There's too many Bibles out there. Different Bible. You got to be uh, specific. Which Bible? All right. King James Version. All right, so this is where we are, guys. Um, let me just finish this off really quick here. If you can, please pray for the channel. Sometimes the platform, they do get straight when I talk about this. All right, so in a follow-up statement, ODSE, we're going to skip all that, stated that for the memorandum, all OKC uh, facilities are required to incorporate the scriptures which includes the Ten Commandments as the instructional support into the current curriculum across specific grade levels. This directive is in alignment with the educational standards approved on or about May 2019, which will district most comply. Now, they added that the State Department, I'm going to skip that name, may supply teaching materials for the scriptures as permissible to ensure uniformity and delivery. Now, they will discuss revoking teacher certification for two Kingfisher uh, school coaches who are facing felon charges connecting to hazing allegation. Uh, Jeff is charged with, uh, wow. I'm going to skip some of this stuff here, guys. But uh, once again, the board voted to begin proceeding to revoke both of their certification in February. All right, so this is where we are right now. What do you guys think? We've seen that um, they are still Christ-like in the sleeping giant. It is a spiritual battle going on. You know, the 4-6, the leader of the sleeping giant, he said that, he, you know, he's, he is strong in his uh, faith. He should come out, Right? And say we have good news, Ten Commandments and scriptures. I mean, he should come out if again the man said he's strong in his faith and his belief of God. I mean, he should come out and be excited, right? Nah, but he is coming out. He's excited. Yesterday they lit up the W H I T E house. They lit that thing up yesterday. The abomination. He was happy about that. But what about this story here? This this is the real deal. He's like, ah. but again, if you call yourself a Christian, you shouldn't be going for the four six. Again, many times the four six has uh, mocked our Lord and Savior. You guys already know Easter, right? Well, Easter, you guys already know he's he was celebrating the uh, the, the, the abomination stuff and the. Uh, Day of Resurrection. That was this year. So, again, guys, this is where we are right now. Again, it's good news. But it's only a small amount of people that find this being a good news. A great number of people saying it's a bad idea. I read the comments. And I'm like, this is scary. This is scary for the sleeping giant. It is. I'm like, man, the sleeping giants are in really deep trouble. This is some serious stuff. It goes to tell you that the sleeping giant through many years has been deceived by, again, the wolf, the dragon. It's happening here within the sleeping giant. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters for prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.